Hello there my friends and welcome. This is a very special video I'm making which is marking the end of a very challenging, unusual, unique year that was 2020 and going into 2021. Amen, hallelujah, I can feel a happy feeling. So I wanted to make a suggestion for you for something that might change your perspective on 2020. Maybe it won't, but I think it might. It's a fantastic exercise that my acting teacher used to get us actors to do, and still does get actors to do every year, which is to do a review of the past year. To go back through all the experiences that you've had, you know, focusing on the positive ones, because I know there's plenty of negative ones. Well, what did you do this year? What did you accomplish this year? What unexpected things did you accomplish this year? For example, I didn't realize until I went back and checked that since March the 17th, uh, which is not too long after we got into full lockdown, um, I made started making videos and those videos were, you know, the acting work had all shut down. I was like, okay, what am I gonna do with that creative part of me? And I, th I felt like I wanna do something to help all the people who are struggling right now. Well, it turns out that in total, including daily uh, card readings on Instagram, um, I have made almost 300 videos since uh, March the 17th. Now, if I had just been focusing on the things that went wrong in 2020, I wouldn't have gone back and checked that. Now, that's just using one example. I'm not saying everybody has made 300 videos and I'm, it's not a competition. Um, I didn't set out to break some record of videos made in the short space of time. It just one thing led to another. My first show, which is called Hugh Talk and IGDF, and then it was Hugh Sings, and then it was you know speaking my truth, and then I did made a show about uh, how COVID was affecting people all over the world. So one thing led to another, led led to another. Then I was to set up my my business daily uh, Hugh Hugh readings, excuse me, my daily card readings is for Hugh readings, and so I set up my business, um, um, you know Hugh readings. Um, set up pages on Instagram, um, uh, on Facebook, and then created a brand new YouTube channel for all those videos to go on to. Um, so again, from a certain point of view, you could look back on my year ago from an acting point of view. I, you know, I haven't booked anything. You know, there wasn't really much happening. Um, I'm like rage at the government, and I'm unhappy with with many things that have been done in regard to this uh, lockdown. But on choosing instead to focus on the things that I did accomplish. None of those things were things that I was I was intending to do. I also look back and realize I started doing yoga. You know, I found this fantastic new place uh, to move to and now I've moved again, another great place. And today, as you can see, I've got a brand new backdrop that I'm very excited about that I'm using specifically for this video because it's about perspective. And this is from outside in space, looking down at planet Earth. It's rather beautiful, isn't it? very excited about it um so um i just wanted to bring this because i wanted to try and help you all with bring some perspective on 2020 while it was challenging and the things that we may have been aiming to accomplish in that year were not achieved in some cases perhaps if we stop and look at what the things are that we we have achieved in some cases we got to spend time with our family and friends you know and appreciate that in a way that we've never done before um, and I know that some of you personally, you know, I know that you feel like everything has been negative in 2020 and, and I understand that. I, I do and I respect it. But I invite even those of you who feel like it was a, a, a disaster of a year to try and look back and, and honestly stop. Well, what books did you read this year that you hadn't done before? You know, is there anything else that you accomplished this year that even if it's a, if it's a personal thing, oh, I got talking with my old friend, I, you know, he did Zoom chats. Uh, with with my friends every week, you know, I was able to build up uh, my, I was there for my friend when they had a difficult time and you start looking back and you see there was things that you got accomplished in this year and I think it's such an effective exercise. I think that my coach acting coach Mark McPherson is a genius This exercise is pure genius because I guarantee you, I've seen this so many times with actors because we would talk about it in class and in our career groups um, when people would go back through the year, they'd be like, oh, I forgot about this. And I forgot that I did this. And all of a sudden, there's far more uh, accomplished than they would realize. 
there's a friend of mine um, who had to leave the UK and uh, moved back to Canada. I hope she doesn't mind me mentioning her here. But she had you know, some challenging aspects she had to deal with. She had to go back and figure out how am I gonna get a visa to go back to the UK that I love so much. She had to leave, her visa had run out. And at this time, it, you know, it's, it's even more difficult. Um, but in spite of her challenges and having to go back to her country in, in Canada, she figured it out. She got the visa together um, and now she's coming back in, in about a week or two's time. And it's exciting uh, f to me because I look at, at this uh, girl, my friend Megan, as one example. But I could go on to, through through uh, other people I know who've had extraordinary challenges this year, but yet are finishing on a high. Some wonderful, beautiful things have happened in their life too. So, um, again, it's been a, it's been a shift. It's been a change of perspective for Megan and Canada. She'll tell you herself. She had some very strong challenges going back, trying to adjust to going back and living in Canada. You know, with her everything being focused on the UK. But now she's coming back. She made it through those challenges, and and. She talks about it. She has a blog on her website. And she talks about the things that have, you know, the mental health challenges that we all face and the, the tools that she used to help her through and tools that perhaps if there wasn't a lockdown, she may not have turned to like meditation, for example. So what I'm saying to you is, is it's been a challenging year. It's it's called upon us to to pull on our resources, our res to test our resilience. But yet from this, I've seen other people who've been very successful setting up their own business. Um, and you would think at this time when all this stuff going on, but it's an online business and it's been very, very successful and, and uh, they're just growing from strength to strength. They may not have looked towards this um, had the lockdown not occurred and their other sources of income were, were, were now being challenged. So as I said to you, I, I do know personal examples of, of some of you who've really struggled and you're going to be watching this video going, are you serious? Are you want to write down the good things of 2020? Are you kidding me? But I'm deadly serious. I've just given you examples of some people there who've got, who had like, wow, challenges this year, like extraordinary on top of the lockdown and everything else they've to deal with. They had their own personal uh, challenges that came up that just seemed like it was just this is too much surely this is not even possible for one person to have to deal with these many things but still from that came extraordinary wonderful beautiful things and they finished this year on an absolute high after what has been uh, you know an extraordinary year. if you'd said to them just three or four months ago this is how your year is going to end they would have been saying are you kidding me um, and I guess I said, uh, there was my friend Megan went all the way back to Canada. How is she going to get a, a visa to come back? Well, she just went and she took care of it and it got handled. It brought out another part of her. She had, it challenged her, tested her, and she came through with flying colors, as did my other friend I was just mentioning there as well. And my friend who set up the business, another example of somebody pushing through the challenges. And of course, my own example of making those videos. I cannot tell you, uh, the extraordinary gift it's been to be able to share my uh, psychic and intuitive uh, abilities with people to help them along on their journey of life and their spiritual uh, journeys. And even last night I was doing a reading for somebody and the way that they talked about it and how it made them feel, it made them feel like they were having a breakthrough and things seemed a little bit lighter. And just to be able to do that for people has been a wondrous thing. And I probably wouldn't have focused a huge amount of attention on any of that at all had it not been for, for the lockdown. I was like, what can I do to help people in the, in the lockdown? Oh, I can do readings and I can make videos and try and give encouragement and positivity out there into the world. And so it has been a challenging year. I'm sure that, that we could make also a long list of all the things that went wrong, but what about if you made a list and went back and looked at, this is my challenge to you, went back and looked at um, the things that have gone well this year, the thing unexpected uh, wins or successes of this year, and if you wrote them down and then stop and look at that and read through it and you go, hang on a second, was 2020 really as bad as I thought it was? Interesting to see what you think of it. My challenge to you all to try and do this uh, today or tomorrow, um, because obviously we have this other challenge we can't really go out and celebrate New Year's Eve uh, this evening for most people in the way that we would normally have done before. But we will find a way, we will, we will create our own celebrations this evening. 
But my friends, I hope that this has been an interesting video to you. I hope it's given you some inspiration. Um, kudos and respect to my coach, Mark McPherson, in Studio 24-7 in Los Angeles. The man is a genius. And I had the good blessing to be uh, under his coaching skills for eight years in Los Angeles. I'm a very, very lucky man. I'm looking forward to 2021 when I can get back to doing what I love uh, so much, which is acting. Um, but I have fantastic music projects coming up next year, which perhaps I wouldn't have focused on were it not for, for uh, the time that I had in 2020. Some of you may have seen the song I posted recently. I'm very excited with this project. Um, and it's coming together really quickly. And then so early next year, I'm hoping to present that to you guys either online or, or have put on a concert where I'm going to play all the songs from this project. It's kind of like pitching the whole project to turn it into a film um, using all of my uh, best songs and some brand new songs that I've written as well. So my friends, I'm excited, looking forward to 2021. I hope this video is giving you some encouragement, certainly giving you an idea, concept, um, uh, uh, an exercise that you can do to hopefully help you make this transition over into 2021. Sorry about that little earthquake shake there. Um, and so my friends, I'm sending nothing but love to you um, to in for 2021, whether you're watching this before New Year's or after. Happy New Year to you. Have a wonderful 2021. Um, uh, it's been my honor to make these videos and send out this encouragement and love, uh, send it out there to all the wonderful people that I know and strangers and, and new friends I've made all over the world because of it. So my friends, have a wonderful uh, 2021. Let's smash this. And I mean that in a positive way. <laughs> Boom.